Let's get over to a very busy man in the Weather Center, Jordan Segundo. Big changes coming our way. Right, oh, Jordan? yes. I mean, after a beautiful weekend, we're tracking some major changes in the forecast. First off, though, we did see a whole lot of high clouds today, so it started off really nice. If you were sleeping in, this is what you missed out. Tiffany capturing our stunning sunrise this morning, taking over on Del Paso Road. If you've got a photo, you can always send it in to us. Head over to CBIS13.com. Let's take you outside right now, though, and show you how things are looking like. We still got those high clouds sticking around, but they'll eventually clear for tonight. And then we'll get a few more clouds heading into early next week. Now, right now, we are sitting at 58 degrees in Sacramento, 61 for Stockton, 64 in Modesto, and 60 in Marysville. And as we look at our humidity and our dew point, we're sitting at 62% with our dew point at 45. And it is pretty breezy out there. Winds gusting from the south southwest, sustained winds at 14 with those gusts up to 22 miles per hour. And right now, our pressure is 29.81. So, looking at our winds, again, very breezy out towards the coast as well, 24 mile per hour. Sustained winds, 50 knot in Fairfield. Lighter south winds up in two parts of the foothills, but we're even getting some stronger winds up in the Sierra as well. So by tomorrow morning, though, these winds will be shifting a bit to the north. We are tracking a storm system dropping in from the northwest. That's going to be an inside slider tonight. Though we will see these high clouds finally clearing out, and we're going to see mostly clear conditions tonight. But by tomorrow. Breezier winds filter through our area, and we'll start to already see some unsettled weather pushing into the high country. So we will start with some light Sierra snow tomorrow morning, increasing and becoming a bit more widespread as we head into the afternoon. Winds, though, will be very breezy here in the valley. It's going to be a nice day, but we could see wind gusts anywhere from 15 to 25 miles per hour. And again, that's going to be coming in from that north to northwesterly direction. Satellite and radar tracker, here we go. Later tonight, we'll start to see some light snow picking up into Plumas County tomorrow morning. We'll still get some light snow, but still starting off at around 5,000 feet. But as we go throughout the day tomorrow, and especially after midnight, we're going to start to see snow levels lowering. We could see snow levels down to around 2,000 feet by early Tuesday, getting even lower throughout the day. So we could even see some light snowflakes floating around 1,000 feet as we head into Tuesday. In, uh, and into Tuesday night. Now, the models are indicating pretty good amounts. We haven't seen this in a while, so we could get close to 12 inches up in Truckee. About an inch of snow expected down towards Grass Valley. Earlier this morning, Cameron Park did show the potential for some light snow. Right now, the models are indicating not a whole lot, but again, things could shift and change. This is a colder system bringing nice cold air from the north. Rain amounts. Valley looking trace. So, again, we may pick up a few uh, one hundredths of an inch in a few areas. Well, looks like the western edge of the valley will miss out on the action. But again, they'll get the very strong and gusty winds tomorrow. So, for tonight, we're looking at clear skies with breezy conditions. Temperatures will be dipping down into the mid 30s to low 40s. And then tomorrow, mostly sunny here in the valley. Temperatures, though, coming down a bit will be in the mid 50s to low 60s. Those winds, though, turning to the northwest, gusting close to 25 miles per hour. But get ready for much cooler air. So, breezy for the bay tomorrow. We'll see Sierra snow starting in the mountains. So they're looking at a daytime high of 30 degrees up in the mountains, getting even cooler by Tuesday. And that's where we could see some low snow up in the foothills again, possibly down to around 1,000 to 1,200 feet. Once the storm system clears on Wednesday, we will see very cold overnight temperatures. Look at that, four degrees expected up in the Sierra Wednesday night into Thursday. And here in the valley, we are going to get the cold as well. So 59 tomorrow, 53 on Tuesday, and a slight chance for some rain here in the valley. Wednesday, though, will be a very cold evening. We got 30 here in Sacramento. Other outlining areas could even see upper 20, so that may cause the possibility for some damage to the crops. We will stay in the low 30s through the rest of this forecast period and then warm into the 40s by the weekend. Those daytime highs, though, remain in the 50s until we head into Friday. All right, thanks, Jordan.